Well, for kids who love a series of unfortunate events and mysterious societies, comes a new series featuring three children, their father, their psychic dog, and a sock puppet named Steve, who are on the run from international super spies. Well, now Becky Anderson sits down with this author, Dr. Cuthbert Soup, about his new book, A Whole Nother Story, in this edition of Authors Revealed. Well, a hearty unsolicited welcome, Dr. What? Cuthbert Sue. Thank you very much. It's great to have you back in it, Naperville and in Anderson. It's great to be here. <laughs> so, Doctor. Yes. Tell me about your profession. I'm, I'm curious because I know you're not the, the kind of doctor that sort of cures, you know, ingrown toenails or goiters or multiple personalities. Tell us the, the kind of doctor that you really are. I have a uh, PhD in unsolicited advice from Southwestern North Dakota State University, one of the goodest schools in the country. And um, basically I travel the world. Uh, improving people's lives with my unsolicited advice, advising celebrities, religious leaders, heads of state. I, I once advised the Dalai Lama to change his name to Dalai Lama and become a female country western singer. He's still mulling that over oh, last I talked to him. Oh, interesting. So people okay. don't always take my advice, but they should. This book that you've written, it's, it's an incredible narrative, and it's all about the Cheeseman family. Yes. And Mr. Cheeseman, Ethan Cheeseman, and his three children. And Mr. Cheeseman, being this incredible scientist and inventor, has created this, this incredible time machine. And it's called the L LVR, and I always get the, the Luminal Velocity Regulator. That's what it stands for. It could also stand for uh, large voluptuous rats, but in oh. this case it stands for Luminal Velocity Regulator. It's a device that controls the speed of, of light and uh, it can be used for time travel. Okay. If you can get it fixed and working, that yeah. is, yes. So, this story and hearing about the Cheesemans. Yes. Um, what what made you want to write their story and get what was that germ? What was that spark? A germ. I like germ. A germ. Well, <laughs> I've always enjoyed storytelling. When I was uh, growing up in Vienna at the height of the Great Sausage Famine, we were very poor. We had very little money for books, but every Friday night we would all sit around the fire and tell stories, which was kind of weird because we didn't have a fireplace. So most of the stories were about how to get out of a burning building. Um, <laughs> But I think my main motivation is I was uh, in a bookstore, not unlike this bookstore, uh, not too long ago, and I noticed uh, up on one of the shelves an empty slot uh, right between uh, War and Peace and Wig Making for Dummies, a big empty slot. And I thought somebody needs to write a book to fill that slot, and that's somebody I decided should be Nathaniel Hawthorne, but he's dead. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so yeah, then is. I decided it should be me, and so yeah. I set off to write this book. Yeah. And the shape. The shape's good, too. I like the rectangular shape. It's, that's, critics are calling this a flat rectangular object. Very nice. Yes, okay. the New York Times said that. The New York Times. Yes. Uh -huh. If you say it fast, it sounds like the New York Times. I know, yes. but that's a great review. It's a great review, yeah. yes, because it's very yeah, rectangular. Yeah, that's right. Talk about unsolicited advice. Just listen to Dr. Cuthbert Soup. With his new book, A Whole Nother Story. Back to you, Dolly.